We're going to explain how to factory reset your Anbernic RG35 EKX. There are a couple of ways to do this, depending on whether your device is still booting up or is completely unresponsive. 1. The standard reset method. If your RG35 EKX is working normally, navigate to your system settings. This is usually done by finding a gear or cogwheel icon in your main menu. 2. Once in settings, look for an option that says system, settings, or something similar. 3. Inside the system settings, you should find an option relating to resets, often labeled as factory reset, reset to factory defaults, or erase all data. 4. Before proceeding, be absolutely sure you want to do this, as it will erase all your saved games, settings, and downloaded ROMs. 5. Selecting this option will usually prompt you for confirmation. 6. Confirm the reset and your RG35XX will begin the process. It may take a few minutes to complete. 7. Once finished, your device will reboot and you'll be presented with the initial setup screen as if it were brand new. 8. If your RG35XX won't boot, if your device is frozen or won't start, a hardware reset might be necessary. This involves using the physical buttons on the device. 9. Find a small reset button, often located on the side or bottom of the console. It's usually very tiny and may require a pin or a paper clip to press. Your device's manual should specify the location. 10. With the device powered off, press and hold this reset button for around 10, 15 seconds. 11. Then try powering on the device normally. 12. After this hard reset, your RG35XX should boot into its initial setup state. If not, you may need to consult your device's manual for further troubleshooting. 13. Remember that a factory reset is a permanent action. Always back up important data if possible before attempting this process. 14. Important note. The exact location of menu items may slightly vary depending on your RG35XX's firmware version. If you're having trouble finding the reset option, check your device's manual or search online for videos or guides specific to your firmware version. This should ensure you find the correct steps for your specific device. Always refer to your device's manual for the most accurate instructions.